Good day, farmers. Purple Mentat here with day 11 of spring year one of Stardew Valley. Let's check the weather, and we have clear and sunny. All right, so we weren't going to get anything done with that anyway. Luck will not be on our side, and living off the land tells us that we can use scarecrows to scare off crows, and we can buy a bigger backpack. We're already way ahead of that game. So, first things first, something in the mail. Ah, good! Robin lost her favorite axe. We have That's a great quest because getting another 250G is super helpful. And we're going to water our plants. Our plan is to hit the mine to kill some slimes and get some cash out of the wizard. When we turn in the quest to the wizard, we can also grab Robin's axe since we'll be in the area. And we want to get some... Oh, parsnips. Yeah, we want to get more parsnips planted. Why parsnips? Well, because I would have needed to plant potatoes yesterday to get three more harvests out of them. And I've got the energy reserves at this point that I can afford to have more things planted. The reason I'm going with parsnips is twofold. One, because they are harvestable every four days, it means I can get my money back liquid again fastest, which means I can reinvest faster. And two, I will be able to harvest more of them between now and the end of spring than anything else, which means I will be able to get the most farming experience out of them. Because I don't get any experience for watering the crops, only for harvesting. And I would very, very much like to get to farming level 5 or 6 be uh, by the time summer rolls around. That's highly unlikely, but I should be able to get through uh, that level during summer, which is going to be great because during the summer, we're going to be focused very hard on harvesting for cash. We're going to gain a ton of experience during the summer for farming, and we will hopefully get so much money that we can move forward with, well, it, it'll just be good. Let's put it that way. And what I'm really hoping that I can get out of the mine is a particular artifact. Don't forget to pet the kitty. And give it water. These things don't actually help with anything, as far as I know, but it's important to me for RP reasons. So seriously tempted to edit my save file. You can edit a save file pretty easily. Any text editor, editor that can handle XML will do it and fix that mistake that I made, but I think I'll keep it for now. Find out what Apollo Cat thinks of it, and if she is not amused, then we will fix it. And I can do a brief segment on editing your save file if anyone's interested. There are a couple of good reasons to do so. For example, some events can get mixed, messed up, and also you can run into a situation where you accidentally pick some permanent choices that are not what you actually want because you didn't know any better. So being able to correct those is important. As you gain levels and skills, you get permanent choices. That's what those level 5 and level 10 extra bars are. And some of those choices will block you off from paths that you may have wanted and not realize because you are going through the game blind. I will not be talking about it, exactly what those choices are until we get there. Which, with foraging, is soon-ish. I think I saw... Yep. Trying to hide from me. Okie dokie. So that's all of our seeds. Now we're off to the mine. And we're gonna... Yay, three more field snacks. That's called winning. Our goal is to kill six slimes and make it down five more levels. Ooh, actually, before we go to the mine, we'll head through the town and stop at the general store to pick up some... Parsnip seeds. Yeah. Words. Words are hard. And clay.
sadness. Ooh, and there's another notice on the board. I will heart you forever if you bring me a cave carrot. Okay. I like 75G for a ca and extra rep with Haley for a cave carrot. Sounds like a good plan. Uh, I can afford to get 22 parsnip sneeds with, uh, parsnip sneeds. Nice. Because I want to save a grand for the festival to buy my strawberry seeds. So I believe, if I remember correctly, those are 100 apiece. And getting 10 of them will allow me to harvest 20 strawberries by the end of spring, which will just barely make back my investment and give me an extra 10 strawberries to give away as gifts, as there are people that love strawberries. Robbers! I, uh, there was no good reason to do that. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> Hi, Linus. He is not that hard to please with gifts. He likes basically any fruit or veggie. He likes food. He likes eggs. He likes milk. But those aren't the things that he loves. So, um, I'm hesitant to deposit things this time because I forgot last time, but... Yeah, we'll put things away. Because there's some stuff that I just don't need to be carrying into the mine with me. And who knows what goodies I might have to throw away if I don't bring it with me. Alright, so we're heading for floor 30. Remember everyone, the goal is down. Let's find floor 30. Ooh, there's a whole bunch of enemies over here that are easy to kill. No staircase. Blast. How about you, slime? Staircase? Come on, help me out here. Alright, time to start breaking rocks. Sadness. So quiet in the mines today. Ooh, Omni Geode. And you tell me it's not a lucky day. Fortune teller, you are wrong. Need more slimes. Nope, I hear more bugs. Darn. Almost did that without taking any damage. Um, uh, this guy did his cocoon thing. There we go. Luckily, they only have the hit points remaining that they went into the cocoon with. So they end up a lot easier to kill than normal. Uh, ba -ba. Ooh, copper. Nom, 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 nom. Down we go. More copper. There's some music. I love the mine music. It's just super awesome. I love all of the music in this game, actually. Like, bought the soundtrack and listened to it when I'm randomly doing other things. Love. Wow. Definite lack of slimes today. Now oh, there's Duggar. That'll be a fast kill. Probably could have avoided that last bit of damage, but I didn't. Oh well. The uh, bad luck of the day is affecting my ability to find the path down pretty severely at this point. I'm actually starting to worry that I'm not going to have enough time to make it to 30 and plant the parsnips today, which isn't a big deal, actually. Parsnips take four days to mature, counting from the day after you plant them. Basically, every morning counts as one day. So if I get them planted by the 12th, I will be able to harvest them uh, 12, 16, 24, 8. Five times. Six times? Yeah. Four times. I don't know. Four times, yes. 
I can brain, really. I counted the 12, and then I thought I'd... Yeah. <sighs> Ooh, slime, come here! You need to die! You're worth money! And apparently a... Uh... Path down. Good, we'll come back to that. I need more slimes. Ooh, mushrooms. That is worth foraging, foraging experience. Until you open a different area, the mine is the only place you can find most of the mushrooms. Well, there's another place, but it's not available to you until you have earned a significant amount of money. Wow, this is a big place. I'm glad I'm looting it. It's worth it. Pretty sure this is one of the maps that has a... Treasure room to it, too? Maybe? You know, boxes and such? Ah, another slime. Yes. My time was is now justified. Slay monsters. Three more slimes needed. Okay. Green slimes, specifically. There are multiple colors of slime in the game. Alright, and I didn't end up wasting any time thanks to the staircase at the end. We're on floor 29. We're just going to take the staircase as soon as we... Oh, actually, never mind. They're slimes. At least the one. Today's our last chance to hand, uh, finish this quest, so finding two more slimes is probably worth our time. 250 gold's nothing to turn down when you can get it for free. Geode, Amethyst, lots of bad guys. Oh, and there's the, uh, ladder. And another one from the bug. Alright, we're gonna do a quick check for slimes. Nothing. We're not gonna bother with that earth crystal because I don't want to have to kill these bugs. There we go, level 30. The first 10 level that you don't get something cool. Okay, uh, we're gonna head to level 5 so that we can kill the last couple of slimes we need quickly. And maybe get a crab, but no luck. Oh, there's the last one we need. And then it's off to the wizard to collect our bounty. There we go. That bing is all the warning you get. Talk to wizard for 240g reward, but as you can see, one day remaining. That's today. You basically get the day you pick it up and the day you hand it in as your options. Whoops. I think the wizard will still be open. Jeez, I'm not certain though. Hmm. Well, I definitely need you and you and you back. What can I throw in there? Sap and wood for now. I can also start collecting my bug meat and my slime there as I don't have direct uses for them yet. All right, that'll be good. Let's head for the wizard. Hmm, it's a long run for 9 p.m. I think his door's only open until 10, so I think we missed out on the wizard quest today. That's a shame. Run, run, run. I wonder. It might tell me. Nope, just tells me it's the wizard's tower. I believe when I get to the tower, it'll tell me whether or not the wizard is the right... Uh, whether or not his door is open and what times is what I'm saying. It'll definitely tell me if his door is closed. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I can check on the wiki really quick. If I pull up the Stardew Valley wiki. We can see where the wizard is. And hopefully it'll tell me what times his door is open. Here's a list of all the gifts that he likes. The tower is accessible from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. Excellent. So, let's get back into it. Now we can definitely make it to the wizard by 11 p.m. It's only 
It'll be tight, but it's doable. All we need to do is slip our foot in the door before he locks it. Oh, and it's Thursday. I completely forgot to check the... Darn it. And I said yesterday I wanted to do that. Oh, no, wait. It's not Thursday. It's Friday that I need to do so. Good. So we'll be back on Friday. Though I'm kind of broke, so checking with the traveling merchant is not really that important. But, hey, I'm less broke now. Yay. Payment. Oh. 240 gold. Nice. And also, I believe... Oh, nope. That did not get me a lot of uh, rep with the wizard. It puts whoever you are most um, in with towards the top. So I guess right now that's Linus and Sebastian. Wow. All right, we got two and a half hours. So we will run over to where I know Robin's axe to be. And see if there's any spring onions along the way. Because I might stop selling those and start giving them to Linus instead. As I would like to start working my rep up with him. He gives you a couple of things that are really nice for the early game as soon as you start getting just two or three hearts with him. And Robin's axe is found right in the same area as the spring onions. So there's no good reason not to do both while we're here. Except my inventory is full. That's a good reason not to do both. Um, Algae. I can eat that. And I'm going to need to free up one more space as well. I could afford to toss one pine cone. There we go. Yay, more foraging experience. And then the axe is right over here. You can just barely see it. You found the lost axe! So that'll be an easy 250 tomorrow. Then we'll have a significant amount of cash. It's getting late. No kidding. We won't be planting the parsnips today, but that's all right, as I described earlier. In fact, Friday, the shop's open. Might buy more parsnips. How's my energy level? 25, okay. I do need to clean out this lower part of the farm sometime. It's kind of annoying needing to uh, run around and through all of those rocks every time. So let's see, we're gonna hang on to the spring onions to start giving people. Uh, we will sell our star quartz because at this point, I've got enough quartz that I can afford to do so. And uh, we'll hang on to the geodes. I'll go open them all at once sometime. Now is not that time. Probably when I deliver a tool to Clint to get fixed up. And everything else I think we're saving for now. Definitely the seeds. Hmm. Yeah, we'll hang on to the spring onions so that we can give them out. Okay, yeah. That looks good. Let me start this coal uh, burning. Not sure if we'll do any more mining tomorrow, but we'll keep everything on hand just in case. No, I wanted my axe back. You silly machine, you. Quartz. Quartz. Not a great day for money-making, but it was a very effective day, a very useful day. And off we go. Thank you very much for joining me for day 11. Yay, combat level 2. We can now make life elixirs, of which that red mushroom is a ingredient. Hope you've enjoyed today's episode. If so, please leave me a thumbs up and tell me what you liked. If not, hit thumbs down and tell me why. Either way, you want to see more? Click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.